heart of Manhattan, where steel, glass, and the relentless hum of the city fight for your attention, there's a building that dares to speak both to the past and the future. New York City Skyline Stories, The Hearst Tower. At first glance, it's not the tallest tower in town, nor the most flamboyant. But trust me, its story and design mark a defining moment in New York's sustainable architecture scene. Let's rewind to 1928. Media mogul William Randolph Hearst envisioned a skyscraper to reflect the elegance and power of his empire. Architect Joseph Urban crafted an Art Deco base intended to support a soaring 20-story tower, a bold statement of ambition. Then the crash of 29 hit, and that dream slammed into a wall of economic hard times. For decades, the oversized base stood as an awkward reminder of a plan that never took flight, a stubborn what-if embedded into Midtown's urban fabric. By the early 2000s, Hearst Communications decided it was time to finish the story. This time, though, they wouldn't just slap on a tower and call it a day. They hired Norman Foster, one of the most influential architects on the planet, to pick up where history left off. The result, unveiled in 2006, was today's Hearst Building, a conversation between Urban's original base and a contemporary, light-filled and eco-minded tower. A late arriving happy ending, complete with the scar tissue of time still visible beneath the sleek facade. Located at 300 West 57th Street, the tower rises about 597 feet, offering some 855,000 square feet of usable space. It serves as Hearst Communications Global Headquarters, home to magazines like Cosmopolitan, Harper's Bazaar, and Esquire. In terms of scale, it's hardly the city's biggest bully on the block. Manhattan's brimming with towers that make the Hearst Building look almost humble. But this place isn't jockeying for bragging rights and height. Instead, it's playing a different game, adding meaning, not just mass to the skyline. Let's talk about sustainability. Real sustainability, not just greenwashing. The Hearst Building was the first occupied commercial building in New York City to earn LEED Gold certification. Its signature diagrid steel frame uses less metal while giving the facade that distinctive diagonal pattern. Rainwater collected on site feeds an indoor three story waterfall in the lobby. Sure, that might sound like a fancy perk, but imagine stepping into that soothing, misty oasis after battling Midtown's frantic streets. Natural light pours in through smart glazing, turning electric light into a sidekick rather than the main event. Now, a bit of constructive criticism. Some argue that if the building wants to call itself green, it should aim for even higher energy self-sufficiency and push the envelope with new materials. Others question whether corporate sustainability isn't just PR Polish. Still, let's be real. In a cityscape where height and reflective surfaces often rule, a major media giant adopting eco-friendly measures, however incremental, is a step in the right direction. Maybe it's just a drop in the vast ocean of Manhattan real estate, 
but it's a drop that counts. The price tag soared past $500 million. That's steep, but not entirely shocking. Given the complexity of the diagrid, the careful integration of the historic base, and the high-tech energy systems, overpriced? Depends on who you ask. Compare it to those ultra-luxury residential towers going up around town, and the Hearst Building's costs might even seem reasonable. But let's not kid ourselves. This is still a monument to influence and capital, a home base for media power brokers whose headlines shape global narratives. In that sense, the building's green credentials, while imperfect, at least send a message. Doing better for the planet isn't off limits in the corridors of corporate power. The Hearst Building is no showboating rock star, desperate for your admiration. It's more like a refined artisan who's learned to weave old and new, blending a once broken dream with a modern, more conscientious sensibility. In a city that rarely slows down, it takes a moment to remind us that architecture can reflect history, function, technology, and some respect for the environment, all without shouting from the rooftops. If you're hungry for more deep dives into New York's architectural scene, its shining highlights, and its works in progress, hit that subscribe button. This city always has something new to show you. And not every sparkle in the skyline is just a shiny distraction.